In the movie Metropolis by Fritz Lang, 1927, the epigram states, the mediator between the head and the hands must be the heart. Do you think artificial intelligence will develop feelings and emotions such as affection, sympathy, hate, anger? I don't see any reason why you can't say they have feelings, emotions, um, concepts, images, thoughts themselves in a very different version to how humans or animals, it means something to them, maybe pain, but it means something to the machine that is very different to what pain means to human. And, and we have that now, machines, even relatively simple ones, probably can have emotions, but it doesn't mean much or anything to, to, to humans, the, the sort of emotions in a machine. We can look at trying to recreate human type emotions in a machine um, if we want. And we can, as we see with a lot of Japanese robots, we can get them feeling sad or happy. The facial expressions, uh, the outward appearance of being emotional, um, whether inside the machine it actually feels or understands or relates, probably not at all. It's just copying facial expressions that relate to human emotions. It's sad or shocked or happy. Um, if we look at some basic uh, instances, um, such as fear, if something suddenly comes towards me, a tiger, I, I would be scared and I would try and run away. So the emotional response, maybe you can see me sweating, maybe you can see me, but you'd see me running away. We can see that sort of thing in robots for the same sort of reason. So we have a robot that defends itself, that if you go and try and catch it to destroy it, it will try and escape from you. Whether it sweats or not depends whether it can sweat or not. Uh, maybe it sweats in an electronic way, different way. But certainly we can witness the emotion of fear in the robot sense, in that it tries to escape from us at a particular time. But it means something to the robot. It's trying to protect itself. And I think this is the thing. With, with human emotions, a lot of them are very simplistic things. Somebody says, oh, your mother is dead. Uh, oh, yeah, fine. I mean, for me, it's not a big surprise. She's, she's been dead for many years. If somebody came to me and said, your mother is ill, that would be. It would be a major shock because she, she died four years ago or something. So she's ill. Oh, great. You know, I'd, I'd be delighted with the fact that my mother is ill. But it, there's an emotional feeling. If somebody else who, whose mother they thought was well, suddenly someone says, your mother's died. <gasps> oh, my mother's dead. It's a major shock. The, the, but it's, it's like a programmed response. You have some input coming in. There are neurons firing that you respond in some way. And the, the robot is doing something very, very similar for different inputs. Uh, if someone says to the robot, your mother is dead, well, it doesn't have a mother it doesn't it, it maybe there's a programmer and it, it couldn't care whether the person's dead whereas if you you put a message to the robot your your power is being turned off uh, well this could be a major problem so may, maybe we want to kill you or be annoyed with you it, it's it, it's emotions because it means something to to the to the robot itself survival is important so protecting itself is important and therefore it responds if it is being threatened in some way it responds in some way humans we are much more complex in our makeup so we have lots of different emotional um, skills and abilities some of them are very open and physical shock that's <laughs> it it's just a boom, boom a very simple response um, even anger surprise excitement are, are very quick fire emotion then others like love what is that it's deep what is it meaningful it's it's much more very very human centric um we can see some animals we feel oh the cat loves me well, it, it might do, but it, it, it's probably when you're feeding it or you're stroking it, you're doing something, you're giving it something that it likes. So uh, emotions can be tied in very quickly to some positive 
um, feedback that you're getting. And for machines, I think it, it has to be a similar thing. They have emotions themselves. It will mean something to the machine. It means something to the initial program, yes, or the abilities you've given it, also what it's learned. We can anthropomorphize. We can make robots appear to have emotions similar to humans. But I think it's only if they meant something very, very similar to humans. So when we get robots with the complexity, they can fall in love with a human. Um, then maybe the robots will have similar emotions. But I don't think we're up to that sort of thing yet.